listeners to the Morning Baraka Show, and today we are going to discuss, we're going to have a um, talk about nutrition and fitness. And uh, so we're going to have um, Brother Bilal here, who's going to make um, a smoothie later. And also we're going to talk about weight loss. Uh-huh, uh-huh, indeed. Um, and, um, and also just having a, you know... Um, well, a general healthy yeah, exactly, approach to exactly. nutrition. Uh, obviously we indulge at times, but... I'm looking yes. forward to this, uh, you know, blueberry smoothie. Although you can use different types of uh, berries. So let me let me start it off anyway. Let's let's get into it because this is a really uh, energy boosting food. Right, and um, I need that right now. So we've got the and our camera crew apparently really eager. So I yeah. I've I've heard Carry a whisper. On. I've heard a whisper. So we have this uh, plain Greek yo um, yogurt, okay. unsweetened. Um, you can use full fat. You can use um, low fat. It doesn't really make a difference. Doesn't make a difference. No, no, okay. no, 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 no. And and. Fats, they are healthy fats and unhealthy fats, but mm -hmm. you know, yogurt is one of the, you'd say the healthy fats. We need a certain amount of fat in our diet. So how much would you say per day that people, you know, should we have something every day? Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it doesn't have to be yogurt, but you, you, you know, the general um, World Health Organization talk about things like uh, 30 to 40% fats per day in your meals. You know, it should be made up healthy of- Healthy fats. Healthy fats. So not donuts. Um, so see pizza and things of that nature yeah. they don't really kind of qualify okay we're talking about <laughs> the fats fats that are in fish in dairy okay and and um you know meat meat products as well so what about these um so you're just loading in how much are you putting in I mean, i'm what, putting in so it's, not, it's not a secret recipe i no. mean we're, we're gonna be there's gonna be information on the on our facebook page okay. the, the exact uh, exact details but i'm um, so i'll say i'm putting some a bit of yogurt yeah and then okay we're going to move towards our secret ingredient. It's all secret. It's all secret. I, I, I think I'll go for the berries. Okay. What are you going to put in then? Which I've berries? Got some blueberries. It's all healthy. You know, fruits are good for you. When you when you when fruits are uh, what do you call it? When they're processed, they mm -hmm. do let, let, um, you know the, the the process makes more sugar. If they say, for example, blended. So there's you have to be aware of that. If you're if somebody that's watching your sugars or uh, so at the moment, um, smoothies are c seem to be quite. Uh, With the rage, they're in right yeah, now. Yeah, they're right, aren't they? So yep, is it yep. something that we should all, like, all be buying one of these um, blenders and having? It wouldn't be. A, it wouldn't be a bad idea. It wouldn't be a bad idea because there's ones you can, you know, spinach. Mm. You don't. They don't have to be even fruit. You know, there's there's smoothies that are like almost like meals if okay. I can put it that way. You know. So like even shops aren't there open? There's you know you can go down smoothie the smoothie bars and yeah. stuff like that. Very interesting. Okay, what's that in your hand then? So we got the uh, the, the, the chia seeds. But they, these are unground, but you can get okay. them really ground down. But we're going to use it unground. They so look very interesting. All right. As you can see, so we drop a just. So am I the guinea pig here who's going to try this? Well, yourself, <laughs> myself, the camera crew. Okay, brilliant. All on sundry. Actually, my mouth is watering, which is really bad because you've hardly no, put good. anything in there. That's good. <laughs> Salivating. All right, so what's next? We got the vanilla. Mm -hmm. So you have some, you know, this vin 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 uh, vanilla extract. Vanilla is that? extract, okay. indeed, indeed. So in that goes. Yeah. Okay, so make sure we get as much of that as possible. In terms of sort of you're making quite a healthy recipe there, aren't you? So yeah, is yeah. it something that's recommended, you know, from our hadith, Quran, religion? What is it? Or is it just something that's scientifically something that we all should be gearing towards? Well, we we got, we got it on Why both it levels, important? right? We got both levels. So we got mm. the the um, the sayings of the imma, the prophet and the imma, peace and blessings be upon them, about you know not overeating and things of that nature, and be careful of the type of food you eat. You know, Muslims we tend to like to make sure we eat halal, but the food isn't always tayyib, isn't always pure. So these are like more pure foods, right? Less mm. less additives and stuff of that and nature. And best to make it yourself, isn't it? Fresh, Since, yeah. fresh is always good. What else do we need? So we need some. You've got other berries there. You want to you want to make it really exciting, right? I think you should. Okay. Our first recipe. Let's go for some raspberries then. A All few right. raspberries wouldn't go amiss. And they wouldn't go and miss. And again, fresh. I know they sell these frozen, but I, I like fresh. Mm. I like fresh. You don't lose too much nutrition, nutritional value with, with frozen. But, I mean, you can't beat See, fresh, that right? Looks, that looks You can't now. beat fresh. Oh, this is getting nice and colourful. <laughs> okay. So we're going to get our lid on. Here it goes. Wish me well. Oh, I think you need to. Do you not need any liquid in that? Uh, is there nothing else? You, I mean, ideally I would have used ice. Yeah. Ice water does the trick. Okay. I'd drop a bit of ice water in there. Because that I would see. help to, I suppose... Uh, Loosen it up. Okay. 
as I said, the exact okay. amount is on the. Okay. So this is this is how it's looking. So how will this help um, sort of like weight loss? I mean, that's got all the natural ingredients, but in terms of what are the benefits of the berries and so they carry they they, they carry um, fruit in particular. Mm. So you got your you got your yogurts, your healthy fats, your calcium, your proteins. Then you got your your healthy sugars and vitamins and minerals in your blueberries, raspberries, and the flavoring with the chia and the flavoring with the vanilla. Okay, right. Blast All right, off. so we're gonna we're gonna take blast off now. We're gonna we're gonna blitz. Okay. <laughs> you ready? Yep. It's Go for it. Pretty animated this machine. Oh, well. That's quite uh, okay. So you can actually just take the machine off. Yeah. Give it a quick shake as well. So the consistency is that sort of like a milkshake, but thinner than a milkshake. Exactly, exactly, okay. exactly. But more nutritious than milkshakes made by certain chain stores that we won't mention. But you get my drift. Yeah, definitely. Oh, look at that. That is looking awesome now. Let's go again now. Okay. I don't think there's going to be much for the camera crew left back you know, after we sample. Oh, no, we should be yeah, nice. Yeah. They're good guys. Sharing They're good guys. Sharing. They're good guys. <laughs> I, did, I didn't say there wouldn't be none. I just said not much <laughs> left back. <laughs> So while you're doing that, mm -hmm. I don't know if the viewers can actually hear me, but um, Imam Sajjad, I know that there's um, rights of the stomach and he talks about, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, you know, we mentioned about the halal and eating halal um, and also not to overeat. So when it comes to sort of like keeping in moderation. So it's portions, there's something to do with portions in, in terms of that mm. uh, treaty. What was that? Remind, um, refresh my so memory. So it's basically that you have a third of food a third of drink and keep a third of your stomach for air. So okay, and I okay. think it's it's the moderation, isn't it? So yeah, you eat, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. not overeating. And I think um, so the overeating can have effects of you being sluggish, eating heavy meals. So mm -hmm. I, I'm mm -hmm. just assuming like, you know, when you look at you know, na nature's creation, you always feel this kind of freshness, don't you? And yeah, this, this, yeah. this energy, and I suppose it's the right energy rather than if we eat too many, you know, too much meat or too much of something, yeah. um, which is perhaps not so healthy, the sugars, the, the um, you know, the sort of like the manufactured sugars. Um, processed sugars. Yeah, processed sugars. So in those terms, that'd probably be quite, that'd probably make us quite sluggish, I'd imagine, if you can imagine having a cup of tea with like loads of cakes and you'd feel, you'd feel that lack of energy, although the boost initially. The rush, right and the, the rush and the okay. crash with the sugars, but also I'm thinking about, you know, scientifically now they talk about, uh, well for not just recently, but for a number of years, mm. that s many uh, n numerous small meals would be more beneficial than, you know, the big, as you said, the big meal that would make you sluggish. Right. The small meals keeps your uh, metabolism ticking over. So you find that people in the sports industry in terms of sports performance, even bodybuilding where the whole thing is to look is the aesthetic of your body. Mm. They eat many small meals throughout the day, every few is hours, that, but they're that, very small. Is that good for sort of people who don't exercise uh, as much or to eat the smaller meal portions yeah, of meals yeah, for the day? Yeah, yeah, in general. In general so not, just, you know, not just for sports people. Mm. You know, sometimes that you have a meal and they say, oh, if it's a large, you, somebody might have shared you food. Like, eat half of it and leave it mm. to, to um, eat the rest in an hour or something like that, as opposed to just, you know, I'm going to finish it all because that's what's been shared. Yeah. But portion size is... is um, it's, it's a whole thing. It's a whole, yeah. you know, a, ba a knowledge base in itself. I can't wait for Is this. Is that though. done now? No, no, no. We, we, it's always a little bit. Oh, it's a flash Got to get the consistency just right. It's got to be. Oh my goodness. You know. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, it's getting smoother. All oh yeah. right, that looks really good. Smoother, yep. smoothy. Lovely. Yep, yep. All right, so let's go. So I'm going to lose pounds drinking this. <laughs> My, I had, I did have a fear. I had a fear that I would, you know, I had this nightmare that it would. No, I'm sure you won't. I'm sure you're a pro, brother Bilal. So how is this sort of something that? So if I had, you were talking about spinach smoothies and all that. So yeah, is it good to have sort of one thing a day? This is more of a, you know, natural fruit one. So would you say have a vegetable smoothie and like nutritionally, well, this would be only be providing some nutrients I imagine. Yeah, only some. You couldn't have this for the whole day. Like say, oh, I'm going to make a large amount of this and sip it throughout the whole day. That wouldn't right. be ideal. Plus, they're better off, you're better off having them fresh. Uh-huh. You know, you don't want them to, to sit around too much. It's quite much. thick now, isn't yeah. it? Is that but right? It's a, That's it's a nice consistency. Okay. That looks 
really delicious actually. I'm sure it will taste all fresh, amazing. All fresh, wholesome ingredients, I've got to add. So if someone's looking to, you know, lose weight, mm -hmm. um, what would you say, wh best time to have this kind of smoothie in the day? Well, the technical term is manage their weight. Okay, manage their weight. <laughs> <laughs> I will do manage their weight. <laughs> yeah, but um, you, were say, no, you were saying seriously uh, that when is it best to have these? Mm. Um, you can have it in the early portion of the day, but I mean, probably sugars late at night aren't best and dairy products and things of that nature just, just you know, mm. aren't ideal. Mm -hmm. So the earlier portion of the day would sort of be like a best. breakfast smoothie. Yeah, that okay. would be best. That would be better. So I shall oh, one for you. Oh, thank you so much. Right. So and one for me. This is breakfast time. So um, it's not because <laughs> you're the sacrificial lamb, but it's only polite ladies before thank gentlemen. Thank you so much. Okay. Bismillah. I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> you're not nervous now. No pressure. Actually. No pressure. <laughs> Does it look bad if it's I don't delicious. try it too? Does it look it's <laughs> really good. Well done, mashallah. It's not sweet and it's just the right sort of. Mm, and it, um, I love yogurt. Mm. I love yogurt. But I it doesn't admit. overpower it, does it? No, no, no. So I think, you know, everyone should definitely make this. I think it's a good recipe. It's quite refreshing, I think, in the morning. I could mm -hmm, imagine mm -hmm. having that sort of when I'm not, haven't got time for breakfast or something. I mean, we, and we use water, but as if you use ice, for example, yeah. that, you know, when it's. it's you know, the weather is super hot. Imagine a hot morning, yeah. some ice. So have it yeah, quite. Yeah, yeah, you're re yeah. really refreshing as well. Picks mm. you up. That's you really know? good. Okay, so and anything else about, so what else could people add in that sort of other so berries? So you can use d different berries. You could use, um, we, have, we have strawberries, you know, different fruit. But blueberries, as I said, they have their own um, antioxidants. Yeah. Um, and this, uh, you know, help the immune system, things like that. Oh so good. blueberries, you know, berries are okay. pretty, pretty strong on that. As and well. then, in terms of sort of, a, if you if you manage your weight with your food intake, how about exercise? And how would that supplement somebody? So how much should they do as a minimum per day? So they're trying to sort of like improve on their food intake. Mm -hmm. What would mm -hmm. you say about the exercise? Half an hour, twenty minutes, half an hour a day. You know, for at the five, um, let's say the working week mm -hmm. is is good. It's good. It's a good average. To do what? And that doesn't necessarily mean hitting the weights, Jim. Yeah. It doesn't mean, you know, being on a cardio machine or anything of that nature. It means even, all right, if I'm going on my commute and I use public transport, maybe I'll get off the, uh, the bus or whatever. Two stops, two extra bus stops on my way there, on my mm. way back. And it's just a little power walk. These little things, I'll take the stairs. Mm. Uh, to so the even mothers the at home floor. or if you've got your babysitting your grandkids and you're in the week you could always take them to school walking couldn't you exactly take them to school walking so just a bit of yeah exercise you, you sometimes see the um, mothers you know pushing their prams mm. and, and doing exercises mm. in the park you know it's all it's movement exercise is movement so it doesn't have to be a, a regime put together by a personal trainer or, any, or, or, or you don't have to attend classes those are good for people who are in the groove or yeah. taking a plunge but maybe you've been inactive for a long time and you know it can be intimidating to say oh you've got to join up to a gym or you've got to get yeah. a personal trainer at the expense so just start by walking just start yeah. by a movement a power okay. you know walk go in the garden do some gardening pulling up the weeds movement just you know you just get out get out your seat okay so well, what you eat rest so it's a uh, exercise yeah nutrition mm -hmm. and getting good rest and that's good for the body that's and a good combo yeah the soul which we haven't really discussed but inshallah Another day, another, day, another day, another smoothie. Um, so that's all we have time for this morning. Wow, but, this um, like I would definitely recommend this uh, this recipe. Um, so next up, we've got the morning.